What's up YouTube? What's going on? Just a quick follow up on a previous video I did on stealing Wi-Fi passwords using this tiny AT tiny 85. I'll leave a link for that in the description and in the card above. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get yourself one of these AT tiny 85. It is a microcontroller which can be used as a bad USB and you can purchase this off Amazon, eBay. I'll leave links in the description. So after purchasing these AT tiny 85s, I have five because why not? You need to download Arduino IDE, download a couple of drivers and complete the setup and you'll be good to go. Take about five minutes if you know what you're doing. If you don't, it could take 10, but let's get into that. So this is the website for Arduino IDE. If you're on Windows, just scroll down here, Windows, click on Windows, if you're Mac OS or Linux, whatever distribution you're using, download the zip file or the installer, install it, go through the prompts, whatever it needs. Now that we've installed Arduino IDE, now we need the drivers. It's gonna be a couple of drivers. It could get you worried. I mean, I was worried considering how many drivers it actually installed. But anyways, if you're on Windows, you just download this digistump.zip file. But once you've downloaded that, we can go install the drivers. So this is the unzipped file where I have my drivers and you can just click on install driver and it will install a couple of drivers, maybe three, four, five drivers, which is pretty scary if you ask me, but it's all good. We've downloaded everything we need outside of Arduino. So I'll just go ahead and open it up and just complete the rest of the setup. It won't take too long, we're almost done. We're almost hacking, don't worry about it. And we are in Arduino, voila. This is not the script we're going to be using. We just need to edit something else and then we can start hacking. So what I need you to do now is go to file, open up preferences. And in this prompt, I need you to type in this URL so that you'll be able to download a board manager. Right? I'll leave this command or this URL in the description below. Right? So put that in here, digistump.com package digistump index.chase. Right? And then you click out, press OK. And then now we will go to tools, go to board, then click on board manager. And in here, you're gonna have to search for Digistump. So once that comes out, you're gonna need to install this first thing, Digistump AVR boards. This will show up if you've installed the drivers and if you put up that URL, that index.json thing, right? So it'll say install here. I already have it installed. So you just have that installed. It'll take a couple of seconds and that'll be done for that. And then the last thing, right? This is the last step. We need to configure the fact that we want to use the boards. Apparently my light just went out and I don't have the charger. I cannot be bothered. We shall continue. So we will go to board and then board manager, which we already did. That's not it. Sorry we need to choose the board we're using. So we shall go to board. And then if you've installed the board manager, you should have this Digistump AVR boards. And I use this default one, which is the one on the top. Choose that. And then for the port, I use COM3. I don't think it matters what port you use. I have COM3 and 4. On my other laptop, it was COM1 and 2, and I used COM1. So just pick a COM and hopefully it does work. So I use COM3. And once we have that, we are ready to start hacking. All right, I hope you're excited for this. To find the payloads, we need to use the hack. You can write your own if you know how to, but I'm gonna use someone else's payloads and we shall go back to the interwebs. And this is his GitHub repository. All credit to him. He has a backdoor, an instant shell, keylogger, payload proper, SAM dumper, UAC bypass, Wi-Fi password stealer, Windows crasher, and Fisher, right? So don't hack anyone without the permission, you will get in trouble. But we are going to be stealing one of my passwords from myself, which is pretty cool. So there's the minimize of shame, which makes a really tiny CMD window and then it moves it down at the bottom. And then there's a, this one, which just shows you that it's blatantly stealing passwords. So what you need to do is download this and save it as an INO file. This is mine. I've called it Wi-Fi.ino. You can open this in Arduino IDE. So we go to File. I'll just open Recent because I have it there. And there it is. This is the script we are going to be using to hack. 
I don't know if you can see since I'm in the corner. I'll just make it smaller so that you can see. And so here it says it's opening the smallest CMD window, I'm trying to make it as small and unnoticeable as possible. And then it jumps into the temporary directory and then grabs all the Wi Fi passwords, saving them in the temporary directory. So once it grabs the Wi Fi passwords, it extracts them and saves them to an XML file. Right? So once that's done, it's going to extract them and send them to a webhook URL or whatever server you may be hosting. So what we want to do is go back to the interwebs and go to webhook. Webhook.site. Once we are here, we shall be given a URL we can use. So we'll copy this, go back to Arduino and paste this here. There we go. Right, so this is going to submit our passwords, submit the password to us. And just a couple of changes. All right, so I made a couple of changes, but once this is done, you should be ready to hack, right? So. What I'm going to do is verify and if you've done everything completely, it should say done compiling here at the bottom and to upload the script onto our, onto our ATtiny85, you just click on upload and once you hit upload, it's going to say plugin device now. And now what you need to do is plug in your device, there we go, plug in your device and you'll be ready to go. So apparently my USB port is not working. I have no idea what's going on. My adapter is probably dead, but I do have the script on the device from previous testing, so we shall use that. So I'll plug it into my other laptop. Just this. There we go. I hope you heard that. And it should come through in a couple of seconds. I have no idea why it does that. It plugs in, unplugs, and then plugs again, and then it works. As you can see, it's opened up the terminal. Extracted passwords. Hope to see a request come through. There it is. And that is it from Webhook. And that is literally how quick you can speak Wi Fi passwords from someone's laptop. Now, don't do this unless you have permission. But until next time, try not to get your passwords stolen. Try not to get hacked. Like, subscribe, or you may or may not be hacked. Until then, I'll catch you in the next one.